That certainly got my attention, but it didn't necessarily require immediate action on the part of the flight crew. Consider this. There's nothing mechanically wrong with the airplane. It's ready to fly. At this point, it's much safer to continue than it is to attempt a high-speed rejected takeoff. The correct decision is to continue the takeoff, get to a safe altitude, and close the window. If the window has been damaged and will not close, you can still declare an emergency and return to the airport. The airplane can fly and land just fine with the window open. Here's another example. In flight test, we check the characteristics of all of our airplanes in all types of situations. Here we are in a 777. In this test, we are demonstrating visibility from an open side window in the event that the view through the number one window is obstructed. At a safe altitude and airspeed, and with the airplane depressurized, we open the window. Although the noise can be high and make communications difficult, there is very little turbulence in the flight deck. The shape of the fuselage forces the air away from and around the number two window. Now even though we've shown that a window coming open during takeoff does not have to be a catastrophic event, it's best to avoid the situation by making sure flight deck windows are properly closed and locked. Pre-flight procedures call for window checks on all models with windows that can be opened. Let's take a closer look at how these window mechanisms work. To close the window on the 717, release the window lock and slide the window forward. Then rotate the lock handle upward and push it forward to lock. Verify that the window is locked by checking that the claw is around the metal stop. On the 737, pull forward on the latch mechanism. Slide the window forward. Rotate the handle forward to the locked position. Check that the window is latched and locked by attempting to move the handle without squeezing the release. On the 757 and 767, window operation is the same for both models. Rotate the crank forward. As the window closes, notice the window not close decal on the window frame. To lock the window, hold down the lock button and rotate the lock lever forward. As you rotate the handle, Notice that the open, closed indicator moves to close. And finally, check that the window is latched and locked. Window operation on the 777 is the same as the 757 and 767 with these minor exceptions. On the window latch handle, there is an orange band under the release button. If this band is showing, the window is not locked. When the window is properly latched and locked, the orange band will not show. Note that the 777 can show window condition on ICAS. 
The advisory message, window flight deck left or right, shows for a window that is not locked. And the advisory message, windows, shows when both windows are not locked. In review, the inadvertent opening of a flight deck window during takeoff is not considered an event that warrants a high-speed RTO. Although the resulting noise may interfere with verbal communications, the crew should consider continuing the takeoff, then closing the window when safely airborne.